everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm gonna show you all how to install Windows 10 Lite on the Atomic Pi. So Windows 10 Lite is a lightweight version of Windows 10. All the bloatware is removed and all the Microsoft spyware has been removed. And also many of the useless apps have been removed. This version isn't really legal, it isn't from Microsoft, but it's a lot more compact and it's a lot faster. The Atomic Pi only has got an eMMC of 16 GB, so we must use a Windows 10 Lite for this. First of all we need this file, so Windows 10 Lite edition version 6. I have tried later versions and those didn't work, the Wi-Fi did not work, so best to search for this version. I cannot give you the link for it, just search for it on the Sea Raiders Lagoon website. Or anything like that. We will also need Rufus for this, so for that just type in Rufus Download, go to the download page of Rufus, download it, and that's all we need. So now on my PC I first format the SD card that I'm gonna use to install Windows 10. For this I use SD formatter. And now let's open Rufus. Be sure to select the right drive for your SD card, then select the image. Open, ok, and now just press start. And wait until it's finished. So I've put the SD card into the Atomic Pi and I turn it on and I press immediately on F7. So F7 opens the boot manager and here I select UEFI generic mass storage. So this is my SD card and now we start the Windows setup. So after a while we get this window, so these are all the partitions on my eMMC, so I will remove them all and create a new one. I've already got Windows 10 installed, so that's why I've got all these partitions already. Ok, now we just click next and the Windows setup will start. This will take about a half hour. The write speed of the eMMC is very slow, so that's why it takes a long time. It is less than 20 megabytes per second write, but the read speed is about 120 megabytes per second, so Windows 10 does run well on the eMMC. Only writing to it does take a long time. After a few reboots you will get here, so to select your region, so I'm from Belgium. So here is Belgium, yes. Then you will be asked for your keyboard layout, so I'm using a UK keyboard. Skip. Now connect your network. So this is mine. Then set up for personal use. Next. And here we select offline account. Otherwise you have to pay. So name Nicodi And some kind of password. Again, the password. And that's it. Now just wait a while and it will boot into Windows. So here we are in Windows, the first boot. So now we have to install the drivers. For that we go to Google and we type in Atomic Pi Wiki 
And over there we go to Microsoft Windows. And here are the drivers. So these are the drivers for the upboard. So this is the same as the upboard, the same hardware. So here are the drivers. I've already extracted them. So first install the chipset and peripherals drivers, then the TXE drivers, then the LAN drivers. When that is done, you will have your audio drivers and your graphics drivers. But there is one driver that is missing. That is the Wi-Fi driver. So 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi works, but the 5 GHz Wi-Fi doesn't work. So for that we need this driver. So go here to find it. So here it is. So just extract it. And then install it. As you can see, now I can choose 5 GHz Wi Fi. And the internet speed is a lot faster. With 2.4 GHz Wi Fi, you can go over 10 megabits per second. And the last thing to install is DirectX if you want to play games. So just type in DirectX download. Download it and install it. And with that we are ready. Be sure not to install any programs or any games onto your eMMC. Just use an SD card or any other external device to write your programs or games to. So that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked my video. See you all later. Bye.